Hi, this is Misty Shooter 223, and today I'm going to make you some no-bake cookies on top of my wood fire grill. Don't know if I've made these for you or not, but I'm going to do it today on the, on the grill. And also, I wanted to tell you about, um, I've had several people ask me about the shelf life of canned goods that you pressure can yourself, and I dug out some corn that I canned about four years ago, maybe five years ago. And this seal isn't as bad as some of the other ones that getting a little bit rusty, but um, I opened a jar of it up another jar and it had a good seal on it and it smelled good too and I had Mountain Man to taste it to make sure it tasted good and it did it was really good so we're gonna have some of that for supper tonight but I just was gonna tell you about that you know it's got a great shelf life on it and corn is one of the things that will go bad sooner than later on you out of food because corn sours but uh, I use corn canning acid when I can my corn I go down to the little store down here and I buy little packs of corn can and acid and it gives you all the directions how to can it on it and it makes the most absolutely best delicious corn I have ever ate and it keeps it for a long time. All right, now to my ingredients. I'm gonna use two cups of sugar. I'm going to use a third cup of cocoa powder. I'm gonna mix these together real good. And then I'm going to add a cup of milk half a cup of milk, sorry, and I'm going to add a third of a cup of butter. And then I'm going to blend this together really good, and I'm going to take this out there to the fire, and then I'm going to bring it to a boil, and I'm going to let it boil for one minute once it comes to a rolling boil that you cannot stir down. And a rolling boil that you cannot stir down is once it's boiling and you try to stir it, it keeps and continues boiling. So that's what I'm going to do to it, and then I will add three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. Blend it up really good because you don't want it to cook and boil. A teaspoon of vanilla and three cups of oats. These are old fashioned oats. You, most recipes call for quick cooking oats, but I find with the old fashioned oats, you get a better texture and it's not really gooey like some cookies are and stuff. And I also like to use crunchy peanut butter, but I'm out right now, so I'm using creamy. Crunchy gives it a good texture also to it. All right, I'll be back in a minute whenever I'm out there on the grill. Okay, I have brought this out here, and I have a fire built where we heated our supper up this afternoon. And uh, once this comes to a rolling boil, I will come back to you, and I will show you what I'm talking about before I add the rest of my ingredients. The chocolate mixture is in a rolling boil. I cannot stir it down, as you see. I'm going to cook it like this for one minute exactly, and then I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. I'll be back in a second. Okay, you want to pull it off of the heat now, and you want to add your peanut butter, and you want to stir this until it melts. And I have found if you have a hard time getting it to melt, which you shouldn't, you can add it, put it back on the heat just for a second to get it good and melted. You want to add your vanilla, two things you don't really want to cook, and let's melt this together. Good and hot. You're rolling it for one minute hard like that, rolling it down, and you are dissolving your sugar quickly. And if you don't let, if you, if it's not, if you're able to stir the boil down, then you're not dissolving that sugar. All right, do that just a second once I get this blended up. Okay, once you get this blended together well, you dump your three cups of oats in here, and you blend these together well, and then I've got me some foil over here ready. And you can use foil, or you can use a that plastic parchment paper, whatever you have, and I'm going to spoon these out on there. I want to get this well blended. I want to try to get it blended quickly so that heat kind of cooks them out some. All right. Back okay, I got this well blended. I'm going to put my spoonful out on my foil. And I'll get all these out for you, and I'll come back and I'll show them to you and give you a taste. All right, I've got my cookies made, and we have almost two dozen, just depending on what size. But I've done some smaller. We'd had a two full dozen. We'll taste here. Those are too good. I got too big of a bite, too, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed that, and I hope y'all have a really good day, and God bless you.